Hey guys, today I'll be sharing with you the best shows that are on Netflix to learn Spanish. I already have a video for English and for French. When I posted those videos, you guys requested another one, but for Spanish. So that is what I have for you today. I will include the link down below in the description box and in the information icon up here to my playlist for Spanish learners. The shows that I'll be talking about today are for all levels and I will be talking about shows that belong to different genres. Before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe. That way you get notified whenever I post a new Spanish video. I first wanted to share with you guys how and why watching these shows can help you improve your Spanish, as well as some tips to make the whole process a lot easier and more effective. So watching these shows can help you because you're gonna be able to hear Spanish slang and common phrases. You're also going to be able to understand their flow and how they speak, and of course, improve your comprehension. For my beginners, I recommend you to listen to the shows in Spanish, but have English subtitles. This will help you with your listening comprehension, but you're also going to be able to use the subtitles just in case you don't understand. For intermediates, listen to the shows in Spanish, but have Spanish subtitles. That way you're going to be able to improve your comprehension even more and learn new vocabulary. And for my advanced learners, this one is going to be a challenge, but I believe in you. Listen to the shows in Spanish, but have zero subtitles. This can be complicated, but full immersion is the best way to learn. Numero uno. This one's my favorite, Money Heist, or in Spanish, La Casa de Papel. This show is very similar to Ocean's Eleven or Prison Break, and I recommend it for intermediate and advanced learners. Money Heist might sound like a generic name, but don't worry, because the show is anything but generic. The show is perfect for you if you like action with high stakes and elaborate plans. Money Heist is one of the best foreign language series that I've ever seen. It's about these eight robbers who have an ambitious plan to print billions of euros in the Royal Mint of Spain. El Profesor is the mastermind behind these eight robbers, who they each have different code names, which are all city. All of the characters speak very clearly, and they use a lot of Spanish slang, expressions, and jokes, which is great. I'm still not sure if I were part of the team, which, I mean, that would be super cool. I'm not sure if I would be called Miami, you know, because I'm from Miami, or Christmas Pie. I swear, guys, Christmas Pie is a city in England. Comment down below what you think would be, you know, more of a criminal name. Miami or Christmas Pie. Numero dos. Cable Girls. This is the first Spanish original series produced by Netflix. I recommend this show for intermediates or advanced learners. You're gonna hear European and Spanish accents. This show is perfect for you if you love female-led historical fiction shows that fight for equality. The show talks about all the challenges that these women had to face as working women. The show puts feminist issues front and center during its five seasons. I know, a lot. Juggling melodramatic storylines with affairs and romance with political subplots, some even involving the oncoming Spanish Civil War. This show is very similar to Marvelous Miss Maisel and The Boarding School. Let me share with you some vocabulary that you might hear and that are used very often. Trabajar, to work. Teléfono, telephone. Sigue tus sueños, follow your dreams. Mujeres independientes, independent women. And los derechos humanos, human rights. Número tres. Club de los Cuervos. I also recommend this show for intermediate or advanced learners. It's very similar to El Principe and you will hear a Mexican accent. This show has become incredibly popular since its release. The story is about these feuding siblings, Chava and Isabel Iglesias, after they inherit their late father's football team. I'm not a fan of football, but the show seems super interesting. The characters and storylines are developed with a playful humor that will have you giggling all the way through. <laughs> I recommend it for learning Mexican slang. Numero cuatro. Elite. This show is for people who love suspenseful prep school shows. This show is like a Gossip Girls turned into a Pretty Little Liars. The show is about these three working class friends 
who after the collapse of their previous school are sent to an exclusive private school. This is where all the elites send their kids to study. But it's not your typical high school drop. Follow these teens in their secret lives to discover who has their blood on their hands. And you're gonna be listening to Spanish accents. Numero cinco. El Chavo. This show is perfect for people who are both into comedy and politics. And it is a very popular show in the Latin community. I mean, it was so influential that one of the characters even made an appearance on Stranger Things. I mentioned Stranger Things in my video on the best shows to learn English. The show is about a nameless orphan, El Chavo, who lives in an apartment building filled with memorable characters. Each of the characters have their own quirks, humorous contributions, and a life lesson to teach El Chavo. El Chavo. I wonder if someone has ever dressed up as him for Halloween. That would be really cool. But I'm sure the costume would be kind of heavy. Little says The House of Flowers is a funny telenovela about a wealthy and dysfunctional Mexican family. The patriarch Virginia tries to maintain the family's perfect image while the drama unfolds. Each family member's secret is exposed, including infidelity, secret families, and hidden businesses. The show also discusses social inequality in contemporary Mexico. This is a great show to learn modern and useful Spanish vocabulary. I'll recommend it for intermediate and advanced learners. Numero siete. Nailed it, Mexico. Oh my God, I love this show so much. I'm always hungry after watching it. If you love the original version, Nailed It, I mean, how do you not? It's so funny <laughs> that I am 100% sure you're gonna like the Mexican version. Home bakers try to recreate baking masterpieces, usually with amazingly disastrous results. Maybe they don't turn out the best, but you're gonna get hungry watching them make them. Numero ocho. If you're in the mood for a reality TV show, then I have the perfect one for you, Made in Mexico. Reality TV shows are great because you're able to improve and train yourself to understand native Spanish speakers, as the conversations are a lot more natural compared to scripted TV shows. Made in Mexico is about as glossy as they come and very addictive. Get your popcorn ready, I know I do. Numero nueve. Estocolmo. If you want to sound like me and have an Argentinian accent, then this show is perfect. Though it can get challenging if you've never heard the accent before. This show is about these three people who join forces and try to an evil organization. Estocolmo is set on two different timelines, which make it really interesting but challenging, which is why I recommend it for intermediate or advanced learners. Numero 10. The story bots. This show is perfect for beginners. It's very similar to Sesame Street and One Big Ocean. Ask the Story Bots is an educational kids TV show. After the kids ask questions, the Story Bots search everywhere to find the answers. You're going to be able to listen to very basic vocabulary while having fun. I'm pretty sure they have like a really cool theme song, and it would go like. That's it for today's video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. That way you get notified whenever I post a new language video. And comment down below if there are any shows that you're really excited to start watching. I'll see you guys next week. Adios!